time to react to Alfredo pasta. <laughs> if this is a pasta that you love, I recommend you not to watch this video because I'm going to hurt your feelings. So if you are too soft, then don't watch it. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. It's reaction time, reacting to pasta Alfredo, Alfredo sauce. Now, before we start, you need to know, okay, and be ready. Italians don't eat Alfredo pasta. It doesn't exist in Italy, okay? Alfredo pasta, it's pasta with butter. Do you know when Italians eat this? <laughs> so Italians eat pasta every single day. When we have diarrhea or we have stomach ache, we eat butter pasta. Because you know, it's not too, too much on your belly. And that's, what, that's when we eat Alfredo pasta. Made in a lighter way. That's what we do. Now, this guy Alfredo, he had a restaurant back in the 1900s, at the beginning of 1900s, and he, cre he served pasta with butter to a couple of Americans. He made it creamier and didn't look bad. And Americans took it back to America and made this dish so famous, okay? Which is a dish that we eat when we have diarrhea. Now, I'm going to watch, I'm going to show you how to make the traditional way from the restaurant that originally created Alfredo pasta, okay? So we watched this video from um, Italia Squisita, and this is it. Okay, so these guys make the cheapest pasta on the planet, and they probably charge you 20 euro for it, and you guys pay for it, okay? The sauce, guys, you don't need the recipe that goes for 6 minutes or 10 minutes or 12 minutes. Honestly, this pasta takes one minute to cook. You need butter and cheese. Look at the ingredients. That's all you need. 220 grammi di pasta per due persone. In abbondante acqua mettiamo del sale, prendiamo la nostra pasta, la sciogliamo leggermente e la caliamo in questo modo qua. Prepariamo il nostro vassoio con i 40 grammi di burro, ci avviciniamo alla pentola, diamo una girata e le tiriamo fuori in questo modo qua. Adesso le passiamo al nostro mantecatore. Simple! You don't need a 6 minutes video. 10 minutes or 15 minutes video. <laughs> you basically boil the pasta, mix it with a little bit of butter, and then you add the cheese. Simple. All right, let's watch. This is how you make Alfredo pasta. This is the most important part of Alfredo pasta. You can't make any mistakes. Two ingredients, one way. Have a look. Tappe, mantecare. Osservate bene il movimento, perché il movimento che sta facendo è un movimento meraviglioso. Questo movimento ondulatorio, un, due, tre, un, due, tre, che ci fa ballare, che ci fa sentire questo piatto come una musica. Sta amalgamando il burro che è stato precedentemente posto sul piatto caldo, un burro eh, leggermente morbido e sta mantecando il parmigiano reggiano con il burro, con l'acqua. Questo è un movimento fondamentale perché fa sì che non si spezzino. Ora fa lo sporzionamento. Okay, guys, okay. So I don't understand why this pasta became so famous. Why my nonna grandmother didn't become so famous? It's so much better than this. Why my nonna gnocchi didn't become more famous than this? What's the big deal about this pasta, guys? Anyway, now let's see. This is the original recipe, super easy, simple and creamy. Let's see how the most popular fettuccine Alfredo recipes are. Because this is very simple. So I want to know, I want to see what have people have created over the years and what they've done. Because I'm really, really, really scared. Okay. The first video we're going to watch is from Tasty, a channel I don't really like. And let's see how they do it. I mean, you can't really make any mistakes. Two ingredients, one simple process, and that's it. All right. All right. Well, the butter was not meant to be cooked that way. But anyway, it's okay. Chicken breast. What is that? Why did he put chicken in the pasta? Why pepper? Why oregano? What is this? It's not a chicken roast. Basil, oregano, everything is dry. Terrible. Use fresh. That chicken is perfect the way it is. Just serve it now. Please don't add any pasta, otherwise you're gonna make me sick. Butter and garlic cloves. And this is still Alfredo? Okay. Flour? Are you making bechamel? 
milk? Are you making mac and cheese? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oregano and basil. <laughs> you how you're to say that you're fine. You're not why do why these people cook? Why are these videos so popular? Please watch my grandmother's videos. I've got a YouTube channel with my grandmother's recipes. They are the best. Support this stuff, not this tasty shit. There's no mantecatura, you know, this putting that in the bowl is like... Uh, manteca... <laughs> Alright, okay, that's it. I'll stop watching this, this. I can't watch this. It's really making me sick. Alright, let's go to the next one. We have Natasha. She's wonderful. She's a wonderful girl. I've been following Natasha since I started YouTube. Great channel. She's beautiful. Very funny. But can she make fettuccine alfredo? I mean, it's two ingredients. Why do you have to put so much in there? Let's have a look what um, Natasha's done. Today I'm sharing my mom's recipe for chicken fettuccine alfredo. It's so creamy and good and actually... But why chicken? Why chicken? And what's that green stuff in there? Anyway. Thickly slice one pound of white mushrooms. The mushrooms give the sauce great flavor. Right, so chicken and mushrooms. So it's not Alfredo anymore. It's a different recipe. Alfredo has parmesan and butter. Now we have chicken, mushrooms, and there is more to come. So what is it? Finely chop one small onion, and the finer you chop, the easier they'll disappear into the sauce. Why onion? Alfredo doesn't have, doesn't have onion. What is this? Now mince three large garlic cloves. Garlic as well. What are we doing here, guys? Are we doing a chicken roast again? And do not skip the garlic. It makes the sauce taste gourmet. <laughs> There's no garlic in the original sauce. And that's the gourmet version. Slice two pounds of chicken breast into strips. And if your chicken breast is... Oh, it's really, really, it's really hard for me. Italian watching this. We never put chicken in pasta. For us, chicken, you can put it in a sandwich. You, you have to roast. For us, the chicken is roasted in the oven. But you, we can't put chicken in the pasta. I don't know. It's something that we can't really do and see. There, there are so many beautiful dishes in Italian cuisine. Why do we have to do this? Why? Place a large, very deep pan or a Dutch oven would work over medium high heat and add two tablespoons of. See, in the original. Alfredo, there is no extra virgin olive oil. It's butter and parmesan. Look how many ingredients we have here. So this should really have a different name. It should be called Natasha chicken pasta, something else, but not Alfredo. There is nothing about Alfredo so far. Remove the chicken from the pan and set it aside. That chicken is perfect to be enjoyed, just the way it is. No need, no need for pasta. Add one tablespoon of oil and a tablespoon of butter. So in the same pan, we have oil, butter, onion, soon garlic and what else? What are we doing? Add the sliced mushrooms and... So you're making a boscaiola. Because of the mushrooms. And you're using a boscaiola. What the... Saute, stirring occasionally for five to seven minutes or until the liquid is evaporated and the mushrooms are lightly brown. No, 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 no. You don't put the garlic after. When you cook, you put garlic and onion together. That's called soffritto. You give the flavor to the butter, to the oil first. And if you don't want to burn the garlic, you add a spoon, a tablespoon or two tablespoons of water. And that prevents for the garlic to burn. That's what you do. That's called sofrito. And then you add the ingredients. Add the minced garlic and stir for 30 seconds for it to become fragrant. Then add three and a half cups of half and half. Bring that to a... What was that? What was that? Was that milk? Was that cream? Alfredo doesn't use cream. Alfredo makes the cream with parmesan and butter. I'm, I, I, I'm feeling, I'm really I'm not like feeling good. And let it cook for about six to 10 minutes. Add the cooked chicken back to the pan along with a quarter cup of freshly chopped parsley. Parsley? What is the parmesan? There's no parmesan now. And I bet she's gonna put just a little bit of parmesan. Yes, I can't keep watching this. I'm sorry, I need to go to the next video. I can't, I can't. 12 million people watch this video. And I believe half of these people have made this dish and call it Alfredo. I don't know what to say, but why is it called Alfredo? Why? Let's watch this next video is Laura in the kitchen. Laura has been in, on YouTube for a long time. Very, very long time. She's Italian and I believe she's going to do a good job. Ooh, Laura in the kitchen. Fettuccine Alfredo with chicken. I'm a real bit surprised. Well, she's Italian from Naples. Let's have a look. Restaurant quality all the way, but with very few ingredients, and you're gonna see how incredible it's gonna come out. Perfect. She said a few ingredients. She said, 
So the three ingredients must be butter, parmesan and the bloody chicken, which I don't like, but okay, must be three ingredients. That's the Alfredo chicken, right? But first let me show you what you're gonna need so we can get started. You're gonna need some fettuccine. The original recipe has fresh pasta. You need fresh pasta, like I said in the original video before, the Italian video. You need a fresh pasta because it's nice when you combine it. But Natasha and Laura are using dry fettuccine. I'm sorry, you don't get the same, the same experience. You can't. Egg pasta is made with eggs and flour. Dry pasta is made with water and semolina. Different products. You're gonna need some heavy cream, parmigiano reggiano. You're gonna need some butter. Heavy cream. Why are you using heavy cream? Granulated garlic, granulated onion, salt, pepper. Granulated onion and garlic. And you're Italian. Come on, Nora. Why are you doing this? 2.7 million people have watched this video and they're using garlic powder right now. I make a nice little sprinkling of granulated garlic, granulated onion. Maybe she's making a uh, salted pork or maybe she's doing something with this chicken. Uh, you know it's flat maybe she's not putting it in the pasta what well, i'm i'm guessing now she's gonna do it on the side of the pasta she's pasta and on the side she's having um involtini or something i don't know the reason why i use the granulated stuff as opposed to fresh chopped chopped fresh chopped um onions and garlic is because we're going to saute this in butter at a relatively high temperature and if i were to use the fresh stuff it would burn What have you said? It's burned. It can't burn. It's fresh. When it's fresh, you need to know how to cook it. Onion, garlic, you cook at low temperature and you add one tablespoon or two tablespoons of water together with the olive oil or butter. It won't burn. Slow cooked, gentle cooking. You can't burn fresh ingredients. You can't tell me that you're using dry factory garlic because the fresh one will burn. All right, the butter, that's all you need. But you don't have to cook the butter. Remember the original recipe? The butter will melt with the fresh egg pasta. So why are you cooking the butter? Let that melt. And now we're gonna add in the chicken. Oh, so we're not having pasta. So we are doing chicken Alfredo style. Right, so she's making the salt in bocca with chicken Alfredo style. Yeah, gonna, at this point, I'm gonna add in my pasta because the pasta takes about... So she's adding the pasta. Now, I'm taking my chicken out sitting right here on a plate and it smells and looks beautiful and it looks fantastic laura eat it the way it is don't put it in the pasta laura i like your channel you've been around for a long time so we're gonna add in a cup of cream i remember the beginning laura said a few ingredients we use about 20 ingredients here for a pasta that only needs two ingredients now i don't want to hear anything like oh this dish is so fattening blah 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 you know what? It's chicken alfredo. If you wanted something that's less fattening, then you might not want to watch this video. Chicken alfredo. Well, alfredo, it's a pasta that we eat when we have diarrhea. So it's not really fattening. Chicken alfredo is so delicious because it's cream, butter, and cheese. Hello? That's what she said. Cream, but butter, and cheese. No. It's butter and cheese that creates the cream. You don't need the cream. And the pasta goes in. Where is the pasta water? Anyway guys, this is a chicken pasta. You can call it Laura, whatever you want. And that's how it looks like. Perfection. I'm gonna just take a quick bite of the chicken. Please have a look at the picture of the Fred original pasta and Laura's pasta. Have a look at the two. And you tell me if it's still the same thing. It's not. Okay, so we're still calling Alfredo pasta, but it's not. All right, let's go to the next video. This is uh, Sam, the cooking guy. Great channel, great 4K videos, great cook. But sometimes he does things the way it should not be. Like in this recipe, again, fettuccine Alfredo, chicken fettuccine Alfredo. We know how the original is made. Let's see what he does. This is food to get with crispy chicken that will just take it over the top. Hello, Andrew. Oh, have you seen that? That's the thing I hate the most as an Italian. You get the chicken, you get the pasta and the chicken on top. That's so, so bad for us. It's an offense for our culture. Italians, the most things that we're proud of is the food. You can't touch our food. It's so marvelous. It's rated 
top three cuisines on the planet. But you can't serve me that pasta with the fried chicken on top. We don't do this stuff. About 30, 45 seconds because it'll burn after that. But when it starts to get super fragrant, it's about now. It's burning it. We're going to add one of the only four ingredients you need, which is whipping cream. <laughs> you don't need the cream. You don't need the cream. You yes, need to you make the cream to with butter and butter. Really <laughs> you just can't get into it. <laughs> you burn the garlic and then you put the cream inside. Why do you put garlic in all Italian dishes? Why do you think Italians eat garlic all the time? Huh? And then our buddy from when we were flattening the chicken, vermouth. What oh, is that? He's putting vermouth. Are you doing a cocktail? What are you doing? We do vodka. And uh, whatever it is, now we're doing vermouth. Two million people are remaking this. We are talking about a traditional Italian dish that we don't eat in Italy anyway, that was made with three ingredients. And look what you turned into this. You know, like call it something else, please, Sam. Are you guys using fettuccine Alfredo because it's good for SEO, you know, to be searched, to be found? Because this is nothing like that. By the way, that chicken looks fantastic. And I just want to have it the way it is with that beautiful bread. It looks fantastic. Sam is a great cook, by the way. I'm just sorry, Sam, but I need to say this to you. I'm sorry. Beautiful bread, beautiful chicken. Go for it. But leave the pasta for tomorrow. I have pasta with something else. I'm outside. Oh, my. Marona me, as they would say in Italian. He made a video more Italian, Madonna mia. <laughs> Sam, I like you, Sam. But I have to say, Sam, out of all the videos, Sam is the one that used less ingredients. So bravo for that, less ingredients. And he made the best chicken, I have to say. This chicken looks fantastic. Just don't put them together, please. I'm gonna go like this. I don't know how much. Look at that chicken. Okay, so let's cut. In. Put that chicken in a sandwich or something. It looks fantastic. Don't do what I think you're going to do, please. Don't hurt me. He did it. He did it! He did it! He destroyed the entire Italian culture. Destroyed. With one plate. Fettuccine. With fried chicken on top. Chicken. It's delightful. It's delicious. <sighs> it's gonna be insane. Guys, I don't know what else to say. I'm crying here. I'm really crying. <laughs> there are so many beautiful things to learn about Italian cuisine. And, uh, you know, you, you took the Alfredo, the simple, the easiest pasta. You took it. You, you added so many ingredients, which isn't Alfredo anymore. And then you basically are using, this is the most popular recipe now. When we have so many beautiful recipes, search on YouTube for the ultimate lasagna by Vincenzo's plate. It's my grandmother's lasagna made with crepes. That's something I want you to make go viral. That's something you need to go, needs to go viral. Have a look at the underneath. Have a look in the description. That's where the link is. Just do this stuff. That's what needs to go viral. Not this. You're not teaching anything to anyone. This is wrong. Wrong from the beginning to the end. Okay? My channel is all about keeping the traditions alive. Using modern flavors, modern twists. Change it a little bit with your flavor, with your twist. But come on, man. Never forget where the dish comes from. Respect to the history. Respect to the culture, Italian culture, who has a lot of history, and especially in food. Come on, guys. I like to be open-minded. I like to be creative. But there is a limit to anything. The next reacting video, I'm going to react to my videos. Because I'm going to show you that I can react to my videos too. Because I made mistakes. And I mis make mistakes all the time. And I'm reacting to my carbonaras. So stay tuned because you're going to love it. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you next Sunday with a recipe and on Wednesday with another. No. So thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next video. Yeah. E ora, let's have fun together.